full-blown winter has arrived. It's cold. Lots of snow, cold wind. If you stay outside for a long time, walking or working, you will start to freeze. And if you come in contact with snow, there is a chance of bad consequences. And even a little bit of heat can warm you up and even save your life. Hello, friends. Hi there. I have a house full of various household chemicals. Vast amounts of household chemicals. And it's not just for their intended use. I've tried using household chemicals, hydrogen peroxide, and citric acid to clean rust. The rust all disappears and there is no damage to the metal. The results are fantastic. I've even made cool dry fuel out of eggshells and vinegar. It burns perfectly, stores well, and is very easy to make. Now I want to try using household chemicals for winter against the cold. Everyone has all the ingredients. Vinegar essence, which is 70% acetic acid. It costs pennies at any grocery store. There's about 6 ounces in each bottle. I use a kitchen scale for accuracy. You need 510 grams of acid. I bought a scale at AliExpress for about $2 and it has come in handy more than once. The second component is ordinary kitchen baking soda. In a standard package of soda, the weight of 500 grams. And the third component is ordinary drinking water. The recipe calls for 100 milliliters or grams. Now I'm mixing it all together. Of course, everyone's been taught to pour the acid into the water. I decided to look through the thermal imager to make sure that when you do it the other way around, there's heating. You can see for yourself. As the reaction goes on, everything is foaming and carbon dioxide is being released. It's a good thing I have a container with enough capacity. I wonder if it could be used as a portable gas generator for semi-automatic welding? I'll definitely try it in the future. With periodic stirring, the reaction slows down, and after 10 minutes, stirring becomes less frequent and then stops altogether. While the reaction was going on, and it should take about 4 hours according to the recipe, I decided to prepare the container. I found some bags like the ones you find under mayonnaise. To pour everything into them, I designed a crow, just under the size of the neck, so that nothing would spill. I printed this model on a 3D printer in two sizes. The small one was requested by my wife, she'll need it for her household. I have made many different unusual designs of rocket stoves that you have not seen before. For example, this one. It works with ordinary water. To be more precise, water is used to burn the fuel, using an interesting law of physics called a jet pump. Jet thrust develops in a short pipe. See it with your own eyes. I also made rocket furnaces based on other laws of physics. Ascending convection currents of air give an interesting effect when burning. There is no bottom and no lid in this furnace, and the combustion takes place inside the pipe. It looks like a wood-burning forest stove. And also, based on the laws of physics, I made a powerful multi-fuel burner. It consists of just an ordinary twisted pipe and various little things. All full videos of all my projects are already published on my channel. See, you will be interested. It took about 4 hours, maybe a little more. This is what it started to look like. The mixture crystallized and started to look like snow. Exactly the look of homemade snow. The result was sodium acetate 3 hydrate, also known as the sodium salt of acetic acid. Sodium acetate crystals can be eaten, are harmless, non-toxic, and are known as food additive E262. It is used in the food industry as a preservative, flavoring, and acidity regulator. The resulting composition should not contain any residual baking soda. 
It must be heated and brought to a boil over low heat and cooked a little until it has completely changed from a crystalline to a liquid state. To start the heater use a catalyst, it gives a shock wave to crystallize the composition. According to data from the internet, as it is suitable mainly springs on the release, pins, bend hairpins, and concave plates of stainless steel. I found an unwanted mousetrap and it has the spring I need on it. I want to try a few variations and experiment with what kind of catalyst will be a good reaction trigger. I'll add some coloring for beauty and pour. Made a few of these. With a funnel, of course, much more convenient. I found that I pour and even in pet bottles and the like. This heating pad is rechargeable, like a battery, only it is charged with heat and gives off the same heat, just put the bag in boiling water and boil it until it dissolves. I have other sources of self-contained heat like this. A chemical warmer that triggers when exposed to air. And just for comparison, a chemical food warmer that triggers after water is added. All done. I'm going outside to test them. I'll start the heaters one by one. Flameless food warmer for testing. It's hard to call it a heater, but in the cold it will be an indispensable source of warmth. The thermal imager clearly shows the temperature of each heater and its relationship to the environment. The idea of autonomous heaters is not new, and there are many ways to keep warm. Today you can buy anything, but you can take care of your loved ones and make any number and any size of such heaters. To have always a charged heater it means to know that even in an unexpected and necessary moment you and your loved ones will have an opportunity to warm up. Dear friends, the best thank you to an author is just a simple like. Share the links on your social networks, let the video help people. All useful links from the video is always in the description. Best wishes to you and your loved ones. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the channel. Bye.